Ever wondered how the Indian LCH and South Korean LAH stack up against each other in the world of combat helicopters? Well, you're in for a treat. Combat helicopters, a critical cog in the machinery of modern warfare, offer tactical advantages like air superiority, reconnaissance and direct fire support. Today, we turn our spotlight onto two such marvels of engineering, the Indian LCH, or Light Combat Helicopter, and the South Korean LAH, the Light Armed Helicopter. Both designed for multi-mission roles. These helicopters, while lightweight, pack a punch with their impressive armament and avionics. But how do they fare when pitted against each other? To answer that, we'll need to dive deep into their technical specifications, performance capabilities, and their unique features, so buckle up as we delve into the technical details of these two light combat helicopters. First, let's turn our attention to the Indian LCH, a marvel of aeronautical engineering. The LCH, standing for Light Combat Helicopter, is a multi-role, multi-mission helicopter designed and developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in India. This bird belongs to the five and a half ton weight class, making it a light, nimble helicopter, perfect for swift maneuvers in combat situations. Beneath the hood of the LCH, you'll find a single turboshaft engine known as the Shakti 1H1. This powerhouse is a variant of the Ardidan 1H1 engine developed by the renowned Turbo Mecha, now known as Safran Helicopter Engines. This engine provides the LCH with the raw power necessary to outperform many of its contemporaries. The LCH sports a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor, an arrangement that offers superior stability and maneuverability. Ensuring the pilot is always in control, this robust rotor system is vital to the LCH's effectiveness in combat. Inside the cockpit, you'll see a digital instrument panel, part of the LCH's advanced glass cockpit. This state-of-the-art system includes a helmet-mounted sight for the pilot, providing crucial information right in the line of sight. The LCH's armament is equally impressive, with the ability to carry a range of weapons from air-to-air -air missiles and rockets to a 20mm turret gun. This extensive arsenal ensures the LCH is prepared for any combat situation that may arise. In terms of performance, the LCH boasts a maximum speed of 268 km per hour, a range of 550 km, and a service ceiling of 6,500 meters. These figures highlight the LCH's superior performance capabilities, making it a formidable opponent in the field of aerial combat. The LCH, with its robust engine and advanced systems, has certainly made a mark in the world of combat helicopters. It is a testament to the ingenuity and technical prowess of Indian aeronautical engineering, setting a high bar for combat helicopters worldwide. Now let's shift gears to the South Korean LAH, another formidable player in the field. The LAH, which stands for Light Armed Helicopter, is a light attack helicopter developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, or KAI, in South Korea. It belongs to the 4.9 ton weight class, making it a light helicopter. Its lightweight frame contributes to its good maneuverability, a key strength in combat situations. Under the hood, the LAH is powered by a single turboshaft engine known as the Rolls-Royce 250C-47E. This engine is a variant of the M250, and while it may not be as powerful as the Shakti 1H1 engine found in the LCH, it is still a reliable workhorse that gets the job done. In terms of rotor system, the LAH features a four-blade main rotor and a three-blade tail rotor. This rotor system, while not as stable as the LCH's four-blade tail rotor, is still effective and contributes to the LAH's overall agility. Now let's talk avionics. Like the LCH, the LAH is equipped with a glass cockpit featuring a digital instrument panel and a helmet-mounted sight for the pilot. This advanced technology aids in navigation and target acquisition, enhancing the helicopter's combat effectiveness. When it comes to armament, the LAH can be armed with a range of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, rockets, and a 12.7mm machine gun. This versatile weaponry makes the LAH a formidable opponent in the battlefield. Finally, let's look at performance. The LAH has a maximum speed of 259 kilometers per hour, a range of 430 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 4,572 meters. While these numbers may not be as high as the LCH's, they're still impressive. 
and allow the LAH to hold its own in combat situations. The LAH, with its lightweight frame and swift maneuverability, is indeed a force to reckon with. Now that we've looked at both helicopters, it's time to see them head to head. In terms of weight class, the Indian LCH, belonging to the five and a half ton weight class, is slightly heavier than the South Korean LAH, which falls into the 4.9 ton weight class. This difference in weight can have implications in terms of payload capacity and overall performance. As for the power plant, the LCH utilizes the Shakti 1H1 engine, a variant of the Arderdon 1H1 developed by Turbomecha, now known as Safran Helicopter Engines. This engine is more powerful than the Rolls-Royce 250C47E turboshaft engine that powers the LAH, potentially offering the LCH higher speed and altitude capabilities. When it comes to rotor systems, both helicopters have similar setups. However, the LCH features a four-blade tail rotor compared to the LAH's three-blade tail rotor. This additional blade on the LCH offers more stability and maneuverability, a crucial advantage in combat situations. In the realm of avionics and electronics, both helicopters boast advanced systems, including glass cockpits and helmet-mounted sights for pilots. Yet the LCH's cockpit is considered more modern and advanced, providing an edge in terms of technological capabilities. Moving on to armament, both helicopters can be equipped with a range of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles and rockets. However, the LCH possesses a more advanced 20mm turret gun system, potentially offering superior firepower. In terms of performance, the LCH outpaces the LAH with a higher maximum speed and service ceiling. The LCH can reach a top speed of 268 kilometers per hour and a service ceiling of 6,500 meters, while the LAH's top speed is 259 kilometers per hour with a service ceiling of 4,572 meters. However, it's worth noting that the LAH excels in terms of takeoff and landing distance, making it more versatile in various operational conditions. While both helicopters have their strengths and weaknesses, it's clear that they both represent significant advancements in the field of aeronautical engineering. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.